what we're looking at here is some Central American cichlids, some crossbreds, and one purebred, the six phyllus, the very colorful one, the multicolored one. Purebred. The others are crossbreeds between the Sinspilus, Red Devils, and um, the Golden Trimac. Um, they are exhibiting spring breeding behavior. Um, the male and female on one side of the Sinspilus and the uh, smaller female next to him are fighting for space for a nest. Um, however, the, both the fish on the left red and white one with blue eyes is uh, he doesn't have a female. He's just fighting for turf anyway because it's spring and uh, that's what Horma would say it's time to do. Eastern Spilus has a relatively enlarged hydrocephalic hump on his forehead that gets larger in the spring. Uh, the Sinspilus gets the largest hydrocephalic hump of any of the Central American cichlids, which is why it is always used as what part of a flower horn which is, doesn't really have a definition other than it's a crossbred ornamental Central American cichlid. Do your thing. <laughs> um, what those two are doing right now is the beginning of their thing. They're swimming in circles. That's the beginning of their mating dance. But now they have an intruder coming in trying to horn in on their space. Um, at this point in time, you see another uh, Sinspilus female coming out to join him. He has not, doesn't seem to be uh, keeping two nests this time. The uh, Sinspilus, uh, the beautiful one with the colors, has been known to keep two nests and two females going at the same time and swimming and spawning each nest left, right, left, right, just swimming back and forth between the two of them, um, putting on a rather impressive show uh, of his, uh, his maleness doing what he's genetically programmed to do, reproduce. Go. They don't ever go, they don't ever do extended fighting. Yeah. It's usually quick little skirmishes and throwing body weight around. Buster had two rows of teeth. You could actually see them when he opened his mouth. No shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. And actually, I mean, I lost a lot of population in this town. Not a lot of it, but I lost a ton. My, my female electric blue Jack Dempsey died. Oh. Um, she's still in the freezer. Um, you should stuff her. No. Why? No. I can do that. I don't fish. You do? Uh huh. How do you do that? <laughs> you need the right equipment. But it's very easy. Really? Yeah. Do you like freeze dry them or something? And then. How do you. What, you, you have to make the body out of styrofoam. Right. And then you just skin them? Yep. Let it dry, fill it with wax. I used to do that when I was a kid. Really? Uh-huh. Is that how they... Is that, well, how do they do, like, the marlins and shit like that? The same way. 
Really? It's a big mold. You know, I would actually consider if I could get a healthy specimen. Unfortunately, those 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 neon blue neon jet Dempsey's right. are not genetically as good as a regular jet Dempsey. I had people giving me electric the neon.